welcome back everybody. This video is an introduction to CSS, a very brief introduction. Uh, if you have used CSS, if you've written any CSS at all, this is not the video for you. This is a very basic overview of what CSS is and how it's used. So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. As our websites and web applications get bigger, more complex, fancier, more elegant, more styled with all kinds of animations and colors and margins and what have you, there are going to be some complex rules that govern how we apply styles with CSS to the structure of our website that we've built in HTML. What is CSS for? CSS is used to format and style the HTML that makes up the structure of our website. We use CSS to do things like change colors, font sizes, add margins and padding, and to give our websites an overall look and feel that is elegant, beautiful, and user-friendly. As we discussed in the Introduction to HTML video, the HTML is used to build the structure of the site. It's like going to Home Depot, getting lumber, bricks, all of the basic building blocks to build the structure of a home. And as we said, we wouldn't start painting until we had that structure in place. So CSS is kind of like the paint. So you can think of CSS as putting the finishing touches on a house whose structure is already built. And as we said, languages like JavaScript or PHP come later and add even more to our websites in the form of functionality. CSS then is for styling our websites for making our websites beautiful, putting the finishing touches on. So how do we use CSS? What does CSS code look like? Like HTML, CSS is not a programming language, but we do use CSS, we do write CSS code to affect the look and feel of our websites. You should recognize this line of code. This is a line of HTML code. This, on the other hand, is what CSS looks like. It looks a bit different than the HTML. What we have here, if we break this down, the P, much like the P in the HTML code that we saw, tells us what kind of tag or content, what part of the structure of our website that we're targeting. This is called a CSS selector. We're selecting all paragraph elements to style. So once we selected a paragraph element, we would then assign values to certain properties. There are many different properties and values that we would use in CSS. But for example, color is a CSS property and margin is a CSS property. Here, for all paragraphs, we're saying that the property color should be set to the hexadecimal value FFF. And we're saying that all paragraphs should have a margin of 10 pixels. Now, there are a number of different ways that these values can be defined. Color can be defined using hexadecimal values as well as RGB values. Margins can be defined using pixels, percentages, or Ms. That's for a more advanced video. For now, what you should recognize is that we would select an element with a CSS selector and then inside the curly braces, we would identify at least one CSS property. And for each of the CSS properties that we identify, we assign it a specific value. Now, you can also write CSS like this. This is exactly as the same as the prior CSS. We selected the CSS selector of paragraphs. So for all paragraphs, we're setting the color to the value of FFF, and we're setting the margin to a value of 10 pixels. I've seen it written in one line like this, particularly if there's only one or a couple of properties being selected. So P is the CSS selector, and everything that comes after P is what we call a CSS declaration. We select the HTML element that we would like to make a declaration on, and then we set the declaration by declaring at least one property and value pair. Again, typically, CSS is written in this way. The P is the selector, paragraph, 
of the paragraph element. And what we're doing here is stating that for all paragraphs in our HTML, we're declaring that the color would be FFF and the margin would be 10 pixels. Now let's take a brief look at how we would use CSS with an HTML file to style our website. Remember our Hello World website from the HTML introduction video? Well, let's add just a smidge of style to that. If you watched the Intro to HTML video, we made our first website and said hello to the world in our browser. If you remember, we opened our HTML file, let's now put it in a folder here, with our browser, which gave us this beautiful website that states simply hello world. Minimalism to a fault here. And all we did to produce that website was to make this file with this one line of code, h1, saying hello world. So let's add a couple of things to that. Pull out a paragraph, nice to meet you. That'll suffice for now. So if we refresh our browser, we now have a level one heading that says hello world, in bold, large font, and we have a paragraph that says nice to meet you. What if we wanted to style this? What if we thought this, for some reason, was a really boring website? Well, all we would have to do is add a new file saved as a CSS file, so .css is the extension. We would want to save that in the same place, in the same directory or folder that our HTML file is in. Save. And now we're set, we can write some CSS code. So remember, we want to select one of our HTML elements, in this case, either the H1 or the paragraph. Let's select the H1. Opening curly bracket, return to the next line in a tab. Now we can change the padding, the margin, the color, and lots of other things. Because it will be easy to see, let's just go ahead and change the color. And just to make it easy, let's say the color will be red. Save the file. Now, before we can see any changes, if you notice, if I refresh, nothing changes. But we need to do one other thing so that our HTML file knows that it's supposed to get the styles from this file right here. And all we need to do in order to do that is in the head of our HTML file, we need to add a line that links the CSS file to the HTML file. We called that intro.css. We should now be pulling in the styles from this external style sheet, and our h1 should be red. Let's see. Amazing! It's web magic. There are lots of styles we can change. Uh, let's try the margin. make that a 50 pixel margin all around. Look at that, we gave the H1 a 50 pixel margin. We can change the font size. Let's make it really big. How about 120 pixels? Let's see what that looks like. Too cool. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much that you can do with CSS to make your website your own, to make it unique, to make it beautiful, to make it elegant. Well, folks, I hope that for those of you who are brand new to web development and websites, and web design, have gotten something from this brief overview of CSS. 
We'll dig in a little deeper in future videos. In the getting started with CSS video, we'll actually go through and explore some more of the rules and styles that can be used to update your website. In the meantime, party on and keep coding. When you get so the HTML our CSS then is so our CSS our CSS all of the basic building bot block all of the basic blo I can go ahead and get this get this video produced <sighs> and so if c is the oh, 